We have got such an awesome thing happening over here at our feet. We've got a column of ants. Um, I heard them referred to as safari ants the other day, but to be honest with you, I don't know. They're just so small. They're actually quite difficult to, to identify. But just have a look at, the, at my feet over here. They're coming from one place and moving to a new den or a new... What did you call it? My brain has gone blank. The colony is moving from one nest to another. Most of them, I would say about ooh, 100 ants to one are moving in a direction here to a, to a new nest that they've dug for themselves. But just have a look at the speed that they're going. And they really are small. I mean, we're looking at, not quite microscopic, but definitely so small that from where I'm standing at the moment I can't make out any sort of distinguishing features whatsoever. Let's have a look and see what you can see. They're not carrying any eggs, no eggs, no babies, but they're definitely moving, they're definitely moving home. Isn't it just absolutely amazing? And you can actually see that they've walked a canyon, relatively speaking, into the ground already. Just tens of thousands of feet moving those sand grains that are bigger than what they are, to be quite honest with you. Very, very, very cool. And they're coming into a hole here. And what is amazing is that all these ants are going into a hole there and they're piling in there and they're not even displacing any sand. So that means that there must be a cavity under the ground here. These particular ants do excavate cavities in the ground. I hope to show you one. They, they, they literally pick out even dust-sized particles and move it into a, into a cone-shaped um, protective room around their, 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 their uh, nests, entrances. And then their entrance hole is massive. It's about a fist-sized entrance hole um, with these tiny, tiny ants removing the dust. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Watch where you stand there so we don't squash these poor little guys. Just quite phenomenal. I don't even know why they're moving, but obviously ants move for a reason. Most of the time it's to avoid predation from other ants and for food or because their tunnels have been flooded. In this particular case, and here's our ever-present pirate fly.